What have you, as you're sitting here on this bye week, gleaned through your first seven games as a head coach in the National Football League that you're going to have as a portable fix in your brain going forward? Here well, so I think, you know, really, I think it's just, you know, you want to always evaluate and, and look at yourself critically. You ask your players to do that, and I think certainly you have to do, do that yourself. And I think, uh, you know, just in terms of the way that you want to lead and operate as a head coach, I think just continuing to be consistent with our messaging and, and making sure that, you know, everybody understands kind of what the standards are and the way that we want to operate day to day. And, and being consistent is uh, something that we feel like is the truest measurement of performance. And I think that's trying to make sure that you're bringing an authentic, positive energy to your players with that approach and with that preparation. And, and hopefully it leads to the performance. But you know, it, you know, you guys have gotten a lot of stuff about it, but it is true. You know, one of the things just from a game day management, I uh, got to do a better job with the timeouts. You know, we burned some timeouts. I burned some timeouts early on, mm -hmm. specifically in the first half, unnecessarily, whether it be, you know, for a variety of different reasons. But ultimately, I've got to do a better job. And that's something that looking at yourself critically uh, I'll make sure to try to correct moving forward into the latter half of the year. Well, how do you do that, though? Because it is really all about what's happening in real time out on that field. And, it is. And things go, you know, all the coaches I talk to, uh, whether they've done it for just seven games like yourself so far, head coaches, or like Mariucci, who's done it forever and a day. Like you said, I think you last time you were here, you were riding the bus That's with the right. 49ers That's when Mooch right. was the coach. It just goes faster than you think. It Things does. Things move a lot faster than that, you think. That 40-second play clock, it goes and comes quickly, and then it really, when you're dealing with the quarterback, especially that communication, that cuts off once it hits 15 seconds. Right. You know, so you're operating with 25 seconds, and then sometimes out of a clock stoppage, it starts at 25. So there's a lot of different things that are involved in that, but I think really when you look at the majority of the reasons, sometimes you say, okay, that was a good, decisions by, good decision by us, but mm -hmm. I think really the, the biggest part is, is it starts with me getting the play in in a timely manner so Jared gets a chance to echo and articulate that to his teammates, and then we've got plenty of time to operate at the line of scrimmage. So that's the main thing, and, and that's something that I've got to do a better job with moving forward. For more Rich Eisen Show, tune to Audience Channel 239 on DirecTV or download the Rich Eisen Show app.